Welcome to another epic episode of Cribs of Conan. Today we're diving into Thunderbud's incredible military fortification, nestled in the scorching southern desert by the Great River. This isn't just any base, it's a stronghold like no other, built to withstand the fiercest enemies and the harshest elements. So stick around as Thunderbud gives us an exclusive tour of this massive fortress, showing off its intricate defenses and strategic design. Trust me, it's worth the full hour. Let's get started. Check this out. This is, wow. <laughs> Talk about a massively, I'm trying to get like the full perspective into this thing. <laughs> I, had a, I, I had a lot of fun building this. So there's, a, there's a lot of inspiration into this. Well, I want to hear all about it. So is this the, do your base from here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the main entrance part, okay. right under that bridge. Perfect. Kind of like tunnels. It's kind of like where um, if anybody, anybody was going to attack, this would be like the tunneling point. Uh, to actually just w like one way in, one way out kind of thing. Oh, okay. So you can kind of like funnel them in there. Perfect. Yes. By the way, Thunderbud is joining me in this tour. So uh, I'm really excited about this. So say hi, Thunderbud. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> also, the Shalebacks like checking out your base too. I know. They, they wish they could be in there. Right? Okay. So where would you like me to go? This is so huge. Uh, so this house you're looking at, this little place right here this is the actually this was the first landmark before all this was even constructed oh. um so this was leonidas's house that he did everything out of you know so that way he could just he's like the watch guard so he why he could watch the entrance oh. and then just kind of alert send an alert to where he needed to to where everybody could hear it so this is a pretty good point because from every point um uh, just about every point around the the place uh -huh. you can see the top you can see him standing on the top of the uh, the tallest point of this building. Yeah, definitely, like up here, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. So he'll stand up there and blow the horn, oh, and, nice. e and everybody can see where they need to be, or you know, all that sort. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! And I remember when you were working on this, you shared this really cool building tip with me that you learned um, about in this uh, with this thing right here, like the the border. Oh, yeah. yeah. Adding the trim, yeah. Uh, so that that actually happened by mistake. How? Uh, I think I, I think I, I don't know. I was, I was going through and I think I sneezed and accidentally placed <laughs> something down, and then it ended up being to where you can actually make it to where it looks like there's a foundation yeah. instead of it just looking straight to the ground. Yeah, I love it. It looks, it makes it look really polished. To be honest with you, look at this. Yeah, this, this is dope. 
like really truly like you went all out <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a lot of time in this i i really wanted to try i mean i know it's like it, it realism in my own eyes i mm -hmm. guess you could say you know and of course i looked at a little bit of a little bit of greek not greek um spartan buildings back in the day and, and it's something similar but i didn't want to be like complete replica right so i was just kind of trying to do it my own way no, I totally, I, I could see where you got inspiration, but it's totally, it's not a copy thing. Like, like my aqueduct, um, well, I try to make it my own, but yet, you know, definitely you can see eradications inspiration through there. But this, this is like your own. So this is, this is really cool. This like whole base is, oh, yeah, check this out. Yeah, this house, he didn't really, he didn't need, he wasn't a, a man of a lot of things so you know very very simple um you know lifestyle you know to keep the stresses down because he already had a big enough stress watching this big <laughs> yeah door, so oh my gosh and what a big base to watch he has some shade so he doesn't get heat stroke out here waiting for those shale bags to right. start a mutiny so i tried to make it to where you know it's a simple life yeah you know? oh yeah oh yeah very simple this looks like <laughs> this this looks like a the um like the beds in the Pompeii brothels. Very simple. <laughs> okay, how do I get over? Okay, so we need to get... Where's his horn? Or do I need to go over here more? Nope. Hey, well, he, he, the horn's not here on this base, actually. Oh, okay. He, he, had a, he, has a, he had a handheld horn. Oh! Uh, he didn't have one. Of, yeah, he didn't have one of those big ones because in his eyes, um, he didn't want to alert the whole country so to speak i guess you could say he was just he just wants to alert the vicinity oh okay so, so that way if the horns going off other people aren't like what's going on over there and then just cause more interference gotcha so he just had some simple in the vicinity so that way um you know there's not there's not a lot of interference from outside sources i like that it has like two different entrances and the levels of it it makes it really interesting very cool interesting house i could see this being recreated in planet coaster honestly <laughs> <laughs> you know everything goes back to planet coaster yep everything does yeah <laughs> it was uh it was yeah you know, like i said just simple you know it's, it's all i needed Would you know, most of his mo most yeah you can get we can go up here and that's okay. it right most of his fighting you know like i said he focused on sword skills and this now now if you look right here i didn't add stairs right here like where yeah. you just went up i didn't right. add stairs there because as um if if you did get invaded, they would actually this would slow them down because instead of having stairs where they could just go up quickly, they would actually have to slow down and climb it a little bit, or you know, ah. it, that half that half second can determine a win or lose oh, kind of battle thing. Definitely, you know what? That's that's awesome. Yeah, I never even thought about like that small detail <laughs> like that. That's really wow. Okay, I want to come over here before I explore because I, I saw this. Yeah. This is so cool. Oh, you don't see that. I'm gonna show that, share that with you at the end. Here, Faja and I made something special for yeah. you over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this one right here, uh, the way it was shaped, I had I, I made it to where. This is also like a training ramp. That's why these ah, are stairs. No way! So it's kind, of, so more of like, kind of like you know how we use the elliptical for our legs. Well, this is what he Leonidas would use for his training up and down along with balance. That's why there's no guardrails on the backside. Oh of it yeah, I'd, I'd biff it. I totally. Well, I'm not biffing it now, but <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I'm getting work. Like oh yeah, getting my getting the viewers all like so, sick. So that, that 45 <laughs> degree angle that'll that's cool. That'll, that'll work. That'll work your legs. Oh, hell yeah. Feel the burn, y'all. <laughs> this is so cool. I like this ramp. This is so cool. I love, yeah, I the, love the, this bridge. The bridge, uh, I, I like it too because that way if the archers, when they run up there, they can just shoot right yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Because like right here, sometimes these old things right here get in the way for whatever reason. Way. Yep. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. You put a lot of thought into this. And then, of course, this, this, uh, this next building right here, this was actually where... I learned how to do octagon shapes, and, I, and of course, I was as I was looking up the buildings, so I started learning how to do this building. Um, That's so this cool. is more of a community, uh, like you know, gathering, you know, meeting type. Okay. And there's a, there's a, I like to call it the secret room. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. So should we start in here first or down down there? Where should we go first? Oh, the oh uh, well. You have to. You might even miss a secret room. I won't tell you yet. Okay. But you could actually start in that little room on the right, okay. right there. Um, 
It has like this a little porch. Like low... We need a little rocking chair yeah. chair just to sit here. Oh, yeah, it's just, just something to look at. Yeah. Yep, look at the view see, even, you even have. From... Go ahead. Even from this point, when you look over to Leonidas' house, you can see him on the roof if he was over there. That's so, cool. like, the, you can still see, you know, you know, whatever direction that he's telling you to go. Or, or, that's that's cool. I like the thought process here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So this room is is basically just like a, uh, you know, you get together, you have some meat together. Um, you know, do whatever. Basically, just an empty room to you could work out sessions if it's raining or anything of that sort. That you know, that would make sense. That makes a lot of sense, honestly. Like if it's you know, if the, if the weather's bad or a, a, a storm. Ooh, is so this th this your room? This is the this no, this is the secret room. Ooh, <laughs> this is I. I <laughs> That's I cool. I that is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this we'll setup. Mm, okay. We'll just say there was a certain friend that we know, <laughs> and I wanted to, before she got on the server, to, to, this was technically just for her. <laughs> nice. She wanted to get. <laughs> Aww, so, so this, so this, like I built everything else, and this wasn't here. Okay. And then, so th and so, I, this is actually an add-on, which I had to do. I had to remodel a little bit when I thought about it. But, uh, but yeah, so it, it, when you go up the next level, you won't even like you can barely even tell that it's even down here. It's easy. It's so easy to miss. Yeah. And it, I think it's a perfect spot for her to also hide if she's here <laughs> and she's getting attacked. And, you know, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this then, is like a little balcony. Yeah. Yeah. This is and then this is the main door. And of course, you can oh, like, okay. see, Leon see Leonidas's house from here as well. Um same thing everything just i kind of try to make it to where you can see that point over there that that's cool that you know wow that's that's cool you know because that makes sense in a in a real life situation where yeah. you want to keep your eyes out on um before i here i'll go up first and then i'll go back well yeah okay yeah you, you get that door that's fine oh i can okay yeah yeah, yeah. uh and then this <gasps> right here see this is this is where you know obviously the the statue is for the nice. god um so with this here you wouldn't know that there's a hidden place under this oh so that was yes the whole idea. oh okay so underneath is a secret room and then on top of here is and the theme because you had um snakes uh idols or sculptures down yep. below too so it fits it's connected to the theme yep very so like cool. when you go out when you go whenever whenever you go around the back here later you'll be able to tell like the the building you can't tell that there's another room underneath it's just yeah oh, this that's is so cool oh yeah and because it, see it's... yeah right here there's it, that's where you can like if it's rainy you can just practice do your yep. workouts in there oh wow check this out okay so then it comes back over oh yeah that's that yeah you, you can't see that hidden room but yeah it, like go off in the go off in the sand yeah there you go huh? and then if you if, when you look at the back seat it just looks like a wall you can't yeah even, oh you yeah can't you did that there's anything in there <laughs> It just that's cool. I love stuff like that. I totally I love hidden rooms and hidden all that kind of stuff. That totally yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's wow. Yeah. I like these stairs too and how you did this. Yeah, I like the, the I wanted like I, said, I wanted to make sure it went in a circle instead of just straight up. And know, that's hard to do too. Turn, <laughs> yeah. See, and you can look at you can look at Leonidas's house straight straight point right there. Player's Day. Nice. Can't even. Wow. Now, do you um? And, go ahead. Oh, that's because I am from right here. Archers, if they if this part doesn't mess them up, you can even shoot down toward the entrance as well. Oh yeah. And it gives them a little bit more, a little bit more advantage. Very cool. This reminds me of um, uh, some of the dungeons that we had to go in ESO. They had the octagon things that you go yep. up. And this reminds me of it. Yeah, oh, this is just a balcony back here. Yeah. If they if they need to, you know, if they have to get through here and they get to those gates, then they can shoot them from behind. That is so cool. And then the the next level, yeah, that's oh, right, there here. Sorry, no, there's one more. Yeah, the next level is the same thing. Just just another balcony. Yeah. You can... Still see Leonidas. Yep. yep. I like that he's down there at attention down there. This is cool. <laughs> Right on. Oh my gosh. There's Faja's face. 
<laughs> Faja hey, buys, oh. Faja builds yeah, that. Huh? Go ahead. It's a good base. Uh, even though he's modified it a few times, <laughs> it, you know, from what it used to look like. He did some work to it. Looks yeah. Good. But you're like, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to throw some different shapes in here now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, it's you can really tell that you just let your creativity go on here. Yeah, it. there we go. Yeah, like I said, this this section I had a lot of fun and, and working with the terrain as well. Um, there's still there's still more to the other way too. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, over here. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, see, I'm glad that you're with me. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. So hang on. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. The terrain. That's a. I said it in a yeah, previous the, video. I didn't like the terrain part of this. It makes yeah, it the difficult. The terrain was hard to really maneuver how to build some of this yeah uh, it was, some of the pieces didn't want to go and yeah and you had to add, and if you add a piece and you can delete a piece now this building is more of the archer setup building um so where the archers like where they, live yeah this is kind of where they'll they you know will hang out and kind of be looking around um and i wanted to give them because there's not much scenery but this right here i thought was the best because it has the oh, mountains yeah. in the back it has the water, so even then, if one of the archers wanted to go, like, just clean, go bathe or whatever in the water, then they're still being watched for anything. Oh, that after. makes sense, except for the shale back, but, you know, just don't mess with yeah. their babies yeah. and you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really good, and then you practically, you continue the theme of the octagon in here, too. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is, this is kind of more of like, uh, uh, it could, it could be anything, really, you know, eat, sleep, because um, archers they they don't sleep in 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 little their own little areas, so they sleep where technically where they post. Oh, it wasn't a full. It wasn't a fully manned post, so they had, with the limited people, they had pretty much had to sleep where they were posted, and then that way when they got up, everything was right there. They could just do what they need to do. Like pop a squat <laughs> of sleeping right here, or would they go yeah, down yeah. here and sleep? Um, they can either they can either go there or go down. Um, most of the time, I would think they would go down, but oh, okay. you, know, you have some bra you have some br you have some brave ones that are like, oh, we'll be fine. But um, you know, it's designed to where uh, even the walls are halfway up, so that way um, you can't see them when they're laying down either. Oh, that makes sense. You know, it reminds me of is that um, part in um, the uh, Lord of the Rings, the t the two towers where Legolas is keeping watch on one of the like the things for the upcoming like army he's waiting for the elven people to come or something like that oh, yeah, yeah. and they're on that like helm's deep this reminds me of that like helm's deep kind of a thing and they're all standing at attention when you're talking about the archers so that that's funny you say that oh that's okay so how do we same, get here? same with this bridge same with this bridge um you can shoot over it oh uh, yeah totally. makes it a little bit easier oh yeah this is cool I like, I really like the thought process of this. I mean, just, it's a lot of, And wow. then also, uh, yeah, if you keep going to the right, there's a, a, a gate for your deliveries. That's why this gate's a little bit bigger. Uh, and it's not as protected because majority of the time, nothing from history has never, hasn't, hasn't really come from this side. Oh, okay. So, uh, wildlife is easy to go out, get what you need and come back. So, yeah. You have the arches all around this area, so it didn't really seem to be necessary um, to have this. Important. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's cool. Now, we, can archers get up there? Oh, let me see. I think you built it up to. No, no they don't. Oh, no, okay. they, no, they don't get up. Yeah, this but is just a straight right up gate. And they can go like this and go poo poo and okay. Huh? That's cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Should I go up here next? Yeah, we can go to this next one. And these are and oh, these are just uh, just little watchtowers. <laughs> wow, Thunderbud! What? The, what's yeah, this? Yeah, I feel so, like I'm in the ruins <laughs> of like a like the. This ancient... one, okay, so this this door you have to crouch to go in. Okay, did um, I am I crouching? So, well, crouching tiger, hidden, smiling. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> crouch, woman. Crouch. Oh, it's but this, C. But, there real, we go. but yeah, so see, this is kind of like one of those. Hey, we're just you know another area to hang out um you know i didn't really know what to add here for archers because like i said depending on the amount of archers we had they needed a place they could sleep here right uh, just another place to gather and um, that makes kind of sense be, because you can't see this building from no. the side of the gate 
No, you can't. It blends in. It's very, um, everything that blends in is cohesive. Yeah, you don't, you, yeah, that's what I say. So it's kind of like, they're kind of hidden away. You, you would never know they were there. No. It's like, oh, we can take over the space. There's no one there. Yep. And then you guys are like, just, surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Like maybe a guard just, or that like main, yep. like general or something like that. The leader of them. Yeah, they can go in there and, you know, just if it's raining, they can just yeah. kind of go in there and get out of the rain for a minute. Oh, and you know what? You can still see Leonidas still down see. there. Yep. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> have binoculars or a telescope or he had like Leonidas yeah. has a flank like well like a banner or something but yeah you can still yeah, see him launch a flame or whatever now this right here um this is optional uh but during construction they put this up because it wasn't needed huh? this wall can actually be destroyed yeah you can or you can crawl over it but I don't know about getting back the um so that way you can just they can just run over here and look uh you got plenty yeah. of archery shooting um, oh definitely so so the defense is on this. That's why the gate's like it is, because you have plenty of, you know, ways to stop them from here. And then by the time they even think about getting to the gate, they this side's already alerted who all the everybody over here, so they can just meet them at that gate. That, that's that's so true. What made you decide, other than, like, was it Faja's base down there that you saw this area, and you're like, did you see the potential for everything that you've done here? Or why did you pick, like, this 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 part on the map? Well, uh, there were, when I was, when, before this was here and I was on, on his base, I, mm -hmm. I, I always kept looking up here. I, I didn't know the reason why I kept uh -huh. looking up here at the time. And it just seemed like, you know, the way the, you know, the, the mountains were. And I was like, you know, thinking of survivability. And I was like, well, if I ever want to build something, even though his base is there, then um, it just, it just seemed fitting. I, yeah. I don't know. The, the, it's just the way the setup was and then I, and then I also thought at the time it's like well I can still see his base from here so if he's getting attacked <laughs> then we can provide oh, yeah. reinforcements True. so he doesn't have to worry about this side of the mountain you know right way. oh that makes sense because go ahead I'm sorry oh I was saying this and this is just another another watchtower um so that way you got a look from different angles right uh, of the of see and you can, you can barely see Leonidas to your left a little bit and you can still barely see it, but when you get up top, you should should be able to see it more. But this wasn't really focused on. This is just like the backside, like hey, you know, I got I got this corner covered, and this and this section is just basically covering this angle. Right. Kind of like the first alert before yeah. you get to the other other houses, and then the house you're looking at now uh, is more. Of, I was going to turn it into like uh, it could be like the bathhouse forum mm -hmm. or another you know get drunk me party kind of thing but I, if you notice at night there's not that many lights in this area right because because you because the way they live is stealthy so ah um, okay they don't want they don't want to give an advantage to the enemy with light so if it was dark they have the upper hand and the advantage so um after i'm done recording all of the bases um and the, the tourists of the bases. I want to turn the um, bef uh, turn the purge back on and try and see if we can get the purge to go to each base to see how the base holds up. Um, if we do oh, yeah. that, would you want to um, reinstall it and uh, uh, put people oh, in here I'd and see? Oh yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd come back and yeah, and see how it um, holds up. I'd probably I'd probably add on and okay, uh, make make this even more. Uh, yeah, I'll give know. you the heads up then when I'm done so you can add people and get it to the point so then that way we can direct the purge to, like to everyone's base and then I can do a video yeah. on how everyone held up. This is a cool architectural part right here. This is I like, the, I really like how you have your stairs like from both areas and come up like this. This is a really cool feature. It sucks yeah, you. Well, Go ahead. It, and, and, the, and the thing on the, the really the stairs were built this way because I noticed, I noticed as I was building the other houses i didn't want just a one way up one way down right so this was where i started playing around with okay how can i get to the level without having congestion yeah uh, going up and down so this is where i started playing around with um you know different i know it, it looks pretty simple but no but it's i, I think it I, I think it'll actually work um oh to be coming this yeah. way 
Oh, look, yeah, so it's two go. different. Okay, so it's two. And I like that they're very um, symmetrical. That's the word I was trying yeah, to like. Yeah, if you go, if you go to, yeah, to the other side, yeah, there's, one, there's, a door behind these, there's a door behind these stairs, I believe, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh. so here's another. You know, I could so see. So this is like the go ahead. main gathering, you know, hangout, yeah. if, you know, uh, battle plans, if they want to have a meeting or whatever, whether they do it for the day or. Yeah, I could know, totally see. Go ahead. They want to if they want to chastise someone without <laughs> being in public view, you know, whatever they want to do. Uh, I can see King Arthur in here. This is the perfect thing for a round table. <laughs> totally. Oh, this is cool. That is cool. Oh, no stairs. I could just jump down, but. Yeah. Okay. This is cool. Oh, and then this takes you to the back yep. way. It takes okay. you right to the back. It don't look like it from the from the other side. It looks like another, like you're going to go into another building. But yeah. No, right, straight yeah. Up to the back. That. Oh, and then this is um over to the um the other house. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Oh, this is so cool. We've got and so you've got also um animal pens and a wheel of pain. This now this. You know, this kind of gives me the vibes of it's a it's a it's a toss up between um, Lord of the Rings, the um, like the Black Gate has Black Gate yeah. vibes, but there is also um, it reminds me of the Wicked Witch's Castle in Wizard of Oz. <laughs> no, the, so when you when you step back, like go go back. Oh, uh, sorry. A little bit. Far, sorry, keep going. Just go straight back. Okay. Keep going. Keep going until you see like a bigger view. Now, I, the reason this door is specifically placed, okay, right here. Uh -huh. So if you look at the towers, like right to the, the left tower, do you see the flame in the back? Right. That For some reason, that just seemed like a good photo opportunity. Oh, yeah, so it that, does. Hang on. Let me... So I, 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 yeah, started, I started with the door right here, and then I actually built straight back and up. And I built those towers first to try to get it to where... Uh, if you look at the very left of that tower, like the the crease, and if you if you look straight up, it lines up with the top of the back tower where the flame is. Oh so, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so it's, it's directly lined up uh, to that. To wow. That thing. That's cool. So that, <laughs> that is really cool. So that was where. And then, of course, everything just went from there. But that was my – when I first started this, that was where, I, for some reason, my focus point. Uh-huh. That's a good uh, focus it point. It literally lines up right up to the next to that. Next to that. that is so cool. I like those um, those things for the hot oil to be dumped oh, yeah. on it. Yeah, I definitely. love that. Yeah. They get to this gate, they're gonna be they're gonna be feeling it. Oh yeah. If they weren't feeling it before, if they got past <laughs> all of that, then um Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. This just is like holy crap. So this wall behind you, the uh, there's a this wall yeah, this wall right here with this gate. Uh huh. Uh if you see you got the curved edges up top. Yeah. So if they if they had to retreat, they couldn't. You know, even if they had a ladder. The ladder could easily get pushed off by how the barriers are, but right. uh, even if even if they could, they couldn't retreat. And the arrows, if they're trying to shoot upward, uh, you know, of course it would just bounce off and right. not do anything. So it provided a lot of, a lot more defense than just having a straight up wall, um, you know, without that. That that makes sense. Now, is it the same way? Let me go back. I've got to. I've got to. Like, is it curved from the out here too? It is. Yep. Okay, that's cool. That. Wow. And so that yeah, so that way it's and plus it you know at nighttime you can't really see right underneath. It just looks like a wall that goes right. up, and then you just see a platform. But you know if they don't know how to shoot an arrow properly or <laughs> yeah. wherever they're at, especially especially when you look down the hill because they're shooting upwards. Yeah, true. So they're 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 most likely going to hit that bottom barrier than they are going to destroy the building. Wow, this is so cool. This is such a cool base. This is flipping. Oh and my uh, gosh. I, dread, I, dread, I dreaded walking up and down these stairs. Oh, really? It was, it was, <laughs> it was, no, 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 no. Yeah, that Rocky yeah, theme. It was, it, was, it was painful going up these stairs. So, like, up and down, up and down. Yeah, you'd be look to look. Yeah, at you'd, you'd be, this. Oh, and look, there's Leonidas. Get, yeah, there's Leonidas, yep. <laughs> there's the, uh, yeah, so there's, like I said, there's a walkway up there. Oh. Uh, this is sick. 
Okay, so we, I missed down there. So it actually, it goes all the way over here. How do you, um, oh my gosh, look at that. Well, these walls in the back aren't designed to be walked on. Oh, they, okay. They figured if, yeah, they figure if they, if they get up to this point, then they're just going to, yeah, it's, yeah, there's going to be, this is where the main army is mostly going to be at guarding the uh, princess, so. Oh, I really would like to see all this, like, filled with thralls, and uh, I, I really want to see this in a purge. I really do. You need the, to the good, pimp this out. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the good thing, the bridge you're standing on mm -hmm. uh, is, is, like, when you turn around, oh, right there. So, you can, that, that bridge is made to be destroyed, so that way they would they, it gives them you know, like i said they'd have oh, to actually jump or yeah. fall in yeah so they ha they actually have that actually have to be destroyed and they can drop down that's and, sick uh, yeah because they don't ha i don't think we have draw oh wait do we we do have draw bridges in the game yep. but still this makes better sense rather than yeah, yeah oh that's just cut, cool they, they can just cut, uh, cut them boards and as soon as they step on them they just fall straight down and because there's plenty of wood then you know see they, they ain't getting out of there no, not at all. Now, is this a church or is this like, see, yeah, this reminds me of like, um, like, oh, this, the, there are so many th like references that come to my mind, you know, but this is so cool. Uh, so this is actually where the leader of this place would be. In. Okay. The reason it's so dark is because it, it wanted to cast an overshadow over the, you know, the other side down there on the bottom of the hill. Okay. Like, it, it, it's supposed to provide more of a fear effect with the colors. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, you know, and then, of course, as you can see, like, with the red, you know, blood red satin curtains and, um, stuff like that. So, that's all that was about. There'd be, like, a bed. There'd be a table in here. So, basically, this is, like, his main, his or her main domain. Nice. Right here. Like, a little, uh, a big throne right here or something. Yeah, like, the, you know, you would they would come up here and yeah. this is where you promoted or head cut off or the red <laughs> wedding or, you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of the big, um, the, the big main hall you made in the Isle of Sipta um, when we, yeah. Had, yeah, it totally, did. yeah. I think they're mostly down, down okay. the bottom, I don't know, unless it's, I don't know, ain't no telling. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, this right here, most of the time they would come out here. And they would sit on these stairs. Like, these are actually seats that you're oh, standing on. yeah. So they would sit here, and, you know, the Empress would come out and address what needed to be done or anything like that. Yep. So this is where everybody would sit and uh, and just listen to, you know, the events or are we attacking anybody or anything like that. And the white squares actually are not made to be walked on. So oh. you're supposed to only walk on the black and oh. except for the two squares just for uh design textures but the black is like, so when you're walking they gotta walk along you know like if you're in good standing you know you walk along the black okay and then whoever's getting punished walks along the white and stands in the white oh very interesting very interesting concept they um this also has a lot of uh european um uh, vibes too, like in 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 the in Italy, people would just sit on steps in the in the plazas and stuff, yeah. you know, and yeah. and yeah, and the social things and just and the the idea with the white is so that way, so if, if you're standing on the white looking toward the emperor or empress, mm -hmm. if you died there, the stains of your blood of that person's blood's on the white. Ah. So whoever, so whoever, whenever they had meetings up here, or whoever wanted, you know, leaders want to meet then it's also a show of you know dominance with previous blood stains on the white oh that's cool that's cool dang you should recreate this in planet coaster <laughs> <laughs> i know i keep this I've been, is dope i've been, I've been I've, i did reinstall it i've been thinking about making something in there i just haven't uh really thought about too much of it yet now this right here um so this is kind of tricky so this area, you, you, you can either do that or <laughs> you can, there's the stairs. But yeah, so there's not a, you know, some people are lazy, but the problem is, is a lot of people kept falling off there. Okay. And, but the stairs, if you're on those stairs, you go directly up. And then, you know, if you're going up here, then you can go over there and talk to, um, like if you go down the other side and talk to the god statue you need to. 
Oh, this is true. Okay. Hang on, I got this. <laughs> I got this. Woo! There's a god statue over here? No, no, other side. Oh, other side. This side. So this side. Oh, so if you go down these stairs on this side. Uh-huh. Uh, other way. Oh, other way. Yep. The back side. <laughs> this is actually a fake side. What? Haha! <laughs> nice! So basically, so that's why that's that's all this side is is, is like a ploy, because for for some reason, um, a lot of the characters and stuff they'll go they'll go left first before they see what's to the right. Oh yes. So if they end up coming on this side, oh, then they're... that lets us <laughs> that lets us know they ain't supposed to be here. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, I got this. Okay, up. <laughs> Like Frogger. Bloop. Oh, okay. Here's the God statue. Yeah. Okay. This is cool. So we so we knew the ones that would go to the right are there to go pray. Gotcha. Uh, do what they need to. Um, now this um, side, the only people who pray here are the ones that are cannibals. Oh. Oh. So you carried that theme from Sipta. Okay. <laughs> I so, see. <laughs> so. Yeah, so that's why the the fear and everything is more on this side because it carries down. But like, you don't want to mess with them because they'll eat you, kind of thing. You know they. Yeah. Ooh, no yeah. railings! You gotta have yeah. balls nope. to get up here. Yep. Shit. This is this, this Holy is where the shit. pros. This is where the pros of the pros. Uh, right. Oh yeah. This is not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at the wall, if you look at the walls the same way. I tried to make them curve. Like if you look at the the main stairs to your right, to my a little right. bit. Oh, uh huh. Like, right. Oh, see how they're angled yes. as well. Yes. Okay. So if you, so if you, so and um and those openings to the left of that first gate where the stairs are, um, uh, whenever if someone, no, oh, to your oh, back to your right. To my right. Oh, sorry. Right there. See on top of the stairs that first gate. Oh yeah. So those openings are big enough for a cannonball. So if one came out of nowhere from the sides, then uh, those have a possibility of catching those and just dropping them straight to the ground. Oh uh, yeah! Without. Can you imagine that? Uh, so that's why those are designed like that too. Plus, it helps keep the water off the stairs. Nice. Okay. This cool. That's so cool. This is cool and, too. This is where like the Fellowship of the Ring would be here discussing who would be going yeah, as this, this Frodo. I had a lot of fun. This one, I I, I took a lot of this, uh, <gasps> from the from the Greek, the, yes. the Greek building I looked at, and the way they designed oh. it, I was like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try working it on this one, and it ended up turning out pretty good. Hell yeah! Um, so this is where this inspiration came from. Just this is this is totally cool. This is so cool. What's Leonidas doing? Oh no, we can't see him over there. We gotta go over here. <laughs> what you doing down there, Leonidas? What you doing well, down they... there, homie? Oh, I see him. There he is. Yep. But <laughs> if, you, if you go to the the next the other railing on that side over there, you, over here, you should be able to see. Him. Oh. Okay. Do we hop down here, or is there stairs to get over here? Did you make this like There's, a? The... Go ahead. There's stairs over there too, but it's on the other side. On the other side. <laughs> other side. Oh, you mean like to, with that you walk up? No, you actually have to leave this area. Oh, it's... gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So there's no quick access, um, and and to to any of it because just in case someone tried to escape, they don't. They just fall into a, a, a dead end every time. Yeah. You know, there's always a stop somewhere. So no matter what, they're going to get caught. Oh yeah. Uh, unless they unless they just have successfully somehow make it to run up the mountain more. Did I miss the stairs to go up here? Oh, you can't even like. Oh, okay. Check out my character's butt. <laughs> yep. Climb, smiling. Oh. I, I think the stairs are actually right. Yeah, they're over here. I remember how, how we got? Yeah. So you have to literally <gasps> jump from. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's yeah, try this, this again. This... <gasps> we got this. We got this. Okay, yeah, I'm run and jump. Me... Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it took me like 50 to 100 tries. Oh, no! So when, when I got up there, I don't think I left that side for a long time. Oh um, my gosh. Hang on. I'm going to do it one more time, and then if not, I, I'm going to go back. Hang on. I'm going to... Okay. <gasps> jump! Jump! Oh! 
Hang on, hold on. Okay, one more time, really quick. I'm gonna do it one more get, time, and get then close. yeah, you really have to hug that left side because that's where. Okay, hug the left. Hug the left. Okay. Oh no! Don't slide. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, <you> <laughs> I feel so accomplished right now. <laughs> And then, huh? then, of course, you oh. have to jump up oh, and shit. To climb the stairs. Yep. <laughs> Just when I felt accomplished, <laughs> I go over the other side. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so your friendly neighbors over here, have they, they're were they? They're, they're actually, they're not friendly. They, there's an agreement um, of food between one another. So they protect what's over there. And as long as we keep pretty much providing food over there that we don't have to worry about uh, over there. Okay. So what do they do when your friends uh, come over and uh, abduct people from this camp? Do they take it out on you? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> but they know, they know we have a massive thing. So most of the time it's just waves or uh, they'll moon us sometimes. <laughs> they'll... Uh, they like taunting, but there's no, like I said, as long as they're getting fed, then they don't you know, care. A, it's like we'll it's that, si it's that silent agreement. Yeah. Know, like, because they know good and well, you know, if they if we wanted to, we'll go over there and, and take them out. So. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. We so, just told them like, look, we're just trying to survive. Like you, tell you what, you do what you do over there. With we'll, the food we get, we'll share with you. You know so. And you made it to where you can't even get up from here. There's no way. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. So they're going to get food barred. However, oh, yeah. Because I was like, oh, I can just jump. Yeah, no. This is crazy. There's Leonidas' house. Oh, it is. Now, Leonidas' is surprisingly, Leonidas' is lit up. Okay. Yep. That was. Is, is it? His is better, other than the God statue, which doesn't provide that much light elsewhere. Right. But his is the only one that has lit up for that reason. Okay. So, it, it, but if you look all the way over there, you see, you don't see no more lights. No. You don't see. This is so cool. The God statue does a really good job right there, too, because. Um, that light will attract them more than trying to pay attention to the building if there's anything oh. under, if there's anything underneath. Got the crouch here. Okay. Nope. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> nope. You can't get through. But that's okay. No. That's so cool. Hang on, I know what I'll, I'll do. I have to I have to move that back. That's not good. For some reason. I will but go I like this. <gasps> Jump. Jump. My parkouring is getting better. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's why there's a door there because the, the structure uh, it holds the top. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all good. It's cool. It makes them think like if, if you're not supposed to be here. Yep. It's the same way here. Plenty of plenty yeah, of archery. Shoot. Oh, I love these. These siege cauldrons are so mm -hmm. freaking dope. Do you have anything in it? No. Okay. Oh, I want to see these in action. Those are so cool, yeah. right? It's so cool. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Yep. Yeah, those those are for like you know, if someone falls or whatever. Gotcha. It's just tough luck. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. This would be like stores or shields or whatever, just armory stuff. That makes sense. Lots of oil. A little bit huh? Yep, a little bit higher. This is over the next gate. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so cool. And then you look down here, too. Yeah, so even over here, not only there, but up here, you can, yep. for that second all gate. Av all all avenues of attack are, you know, there's always an angle somewhere. Um, easily, like, we, we try to make it where you, you have the most advantage yeah. here. It's really strategic. It's This is a very, very strategic base. A very, like, you could tell, like, a lot of... um military strategy went into this yeah. and i that's really impressive that you gave that a lot of thought whereas i was like oh it'd be cool to build on top of an aqueduct you know and you know and but i mean will it you know hold up to a thing you know who knows you know maybe there's you know pros and cons but this there was a lot of thought you know yeah that's i really 
how impressed is this? This, but this was a lot of fun cool. making, so yeah, I a lot of, a lot of, learned learned a lot of new stuff. Yeah, uh, like I said, that terrain the terrain is was like I think the, the toughest toughest thing to work with was the terrain. Trying to make it to where the buildings looked level, yeah, without without having you know different tri levels to get to where you need to. Uh, yeah, no, the t working with the terraforming in this game just sucks ass. I like how this black building ties in with a black uh, in game back there yeah. when a uh, mango is in here doing cinematics and that's going to be part um you know he asked if the if the thing with the flame was part of your base i'm like no he didn't do that that's in game but all the rest you know i i it, um yeah is what you did and stuff but it blends in it looks very cohesive and then i was checking this out like here like even the shape of this and how this is this flows with the background mountain the, the right here mountain, yeah. yeah did you do did you do that purposely no nah, nah, no that was this that was i think that's just coincidence on okay that one. Um, but like i said when like i said when i was at foster's base and then when all this was just strictly open i was like you know there's so much land I oh could, yeah so many, so many so many opportunities uh but i like i said i just started with leonidas's house and then just kind of went from there and i didn't i don't know where the inspiration came from it just like you, you just play you could play have a certain playlist of greek you know like greek songs or mythology songs and then you just start going with it you know yeah oh i like how it just it looks like it um you see how see how yes. see that's what i say like you see how it looks like it blends in yes. with the terrain that was you know instead of just having pillars you know that took a, a good minute to figure that out I would say what I had to do was on this one, like I had to pr start from the gate and then just kind of work over into where I, where I could get it and then place a block above ground mm -hmm. and then build out and then you could place one underneath it. Um, whenever, like, so like you see where it's going into the ground, right? Right. So I had to build up, I think that's, I think that's five, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I had to go up five, build straight out to the, almost the tallest peak and then i had to place these underneath that uh because you can't place them uh by themselves just right there so you had to like build up and then you could place downward instead of going up like you know we're used to i'm glad i came back out here to see this part and it, you know it looked like that, a step go ahead i'm sorry i was just saying i was just saying i think i think uh with today i think i would there would probably be some things i would change um and be and be more you would you would see more of a difference of, of how the architect I mean it's similar architecture but you'll mm -hmm. see additions added on um, you know to, to protect even more fortification on it and try to make it more where it fit into the ground and I mean who knows I mean I, I, if I built if I built another base it might even look different I mean I don't know but yeah this, here, this was this was my this was my I, I, I took I had a lot of fun doing this <laughs> I, I can totally tell. I'm, I'm glad you did this. I'm really glad you went up to the challenge on this. It really kind of so blends into those mountains to where when you, your focus, you don't really yeah, kind of so focus over that, there. Yeah, because like, so when you, if you, as you're going back toward Fosh's base backwards, uh huh. the idea obviously camouflage kind of, I was kind of thought about that because I was like, well, if there's a lot of rock here, right. I need something to kind of trick the eye for that split moment for a minute. Because it, that way, it, it you know, you're like, okay, I see it. I know there's something there, but I don't know the magnitude of it, right. you know, so to speak. And then, because when you look at it from here, you're like, oh, you know, that's not that big. Right. But then, like, as you as you get to it from a perspective, you're like, oh, my God. Right. As um as Google would say, forced perspective. You use that here. Yeah. Where your eyes don't yeah. tend to, maybe, the you know, out of the periphery, you'll maybe like, but you're drawn and then and then if you look back like if you go back backwards again as you're looking under the gate mm -hmm. like you see how the, the the back the the other fortress back there it blends in like yes. with the fog. yeah so you can't even so you can't even uh, like you see structures barely right but you can't even tell uh really that it's back there unless you know you, especially at night you can't oh. at nighttime 
you can't even see anything. Can you imagine like thinking, oh, it's just we have to worry about the archers on top and yep. you come running in <laughs> and then and you're running, running, running. And then as you get closer, you, they come into they render in all the people right here like surprise. <laughs> Dang, Thunderbud, you really went all out. Well, Fasha and I made you a little gift. <laughs> a little memento, I should say. We, um, your, your character's body is underneath here. Or, unless you dug it out. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, final resting place of thunder. Because <laughs> this is where you fell asleep. And as soon as you locked out, oh. we built this. We were like, okay. And we hurried and built. So, if when you log in, you might have to, like, we might have to come rescue you. Like a monument to you. <laughs> yeah, and, is... it pl it, and, and it plays well, too. It like, does. With this baby. It's it so does. crazy. It plays it plays so well with this because you're like final rest in place, but he's not even in, he's not even in the base. He's, he's in the base, but this is by there. Oh yeah, we were like okay, and then and then you didn't, and you never came back into the game after that. We're like, dang it! We were hoping you'd be like like you know come to and go where him. <laughs> oh, oh, but no, this, this is amazing. This was, this, I really, I thank you for the tour. And I'm so glad you joined me in here because, you know, it just gave a, a, a home, like a, an oh, added it was, layer. It, yeah, it's, it's an honor. Um, I appreciate it. Like I, you know, I've, I've never really, uh, I guess you say this would be my, my first um, kind of experience as, as actually someone else seeing my creation from their eyes and then having me in the background um, so it gives me a whole new perspective of even what I built at the same time too so because I like even to this day look at it you're like I'm, I'm like wow this thing is, is amazing Cause, you it know, is. when you build when you build something and, and you know to you like right first person you're like okay I built this yeah but to someone else when they see it um, it's a whole, you know, hearing it from their perspective, and then you just kind of just seeing the reactions of everybody. Uh, so that that's that's what's really great about it. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I oh, hope I love it. it. No, I totally think uh, viewers of Conan will really enjoy this video. I really do. I I think that they're going to be just as impressed and in awe as I have been in here. Um, you really went all out. And uh, it makes me, uh, you know what, like once I get my button gear, like another game or maybe even another world or something like that, do a challenge again and see what people do. It's really fun to see, you know, I mean, you know, I was talking before, like in another video talking about like the temporary bases and how we would do yeah. like group bases and we'd all be together. But it's, you know, Trisha branched out and built you know, her own base that you'll see in this series and, you know, uh, Commander Riker did and I did and and then, you know, uh, Sexy Big and Faja went on to make their own bases without worrying about like having to worry about, OK, you know, everyone has a room or whatever like that. And, yeah. you know, we all did this and we all went in different like themes and different areas and just it, it's fun to see everybody's creativity come out in well, these survival a games. A lot of a lot of my. <laughs> The, the reason this became so massive is actually uh, between Fasha and Sexy Big, because the way when they built theirs, right, uh -huh. I was like, this thing is like, you know, massive in, in their creations. And then when I seen Rikers, I was like, okay, so <laughs> what can I do to be different but also be bigger? Thank you guys for joining me and Thunderbud in this really cool tour base or base tour <laughs> it, was, it was it was it was great to be here and thanks for having me oh my, my pleasure thank you so much thunderbud and y'all smash the like button and leave lots of wonderful comments for thunderbud telling him how dope his face is all right until the next video peace love and blessed be bye y'all <laughs> <laughs>